Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing for Alcrate and I believe this is the May 2020 box. Gosh, I just reversed this two years. I believe this is the May 2022 box. <laughs> so I pre-cut it because yet again, don't need to be using sharp objects on video because I'm really bad at it. So here is the box on top. Always have the spoiler card to love. And this month is The Chosen One. So here is the art on the spoiler card. And we will get back to the spoiler card at the end. This is really pretty art, I like it. Okay, so my husband said when he brought the box in yesterday, because I was at work, I, I worked second shift at a hospital. Uh, he said that he dropped it. And I know that there's a ceramic item in here. So we're gonna see if he broke the ceramic item. Yay. <laughs> so let's just get right to the ceramic item. Here it is. I love, yeah, cer okay, ceramic bowl. Let's see. Together with artist Janine LaCour, we're bringing a bit of magic of Middle Earth, Lord of the Rings, to your table, each bowl in this four-part limited edition collection celebrates a different iconic location from Tolkien's Lord of the Rings universe. Yeah, I was about to say, I know I already have one, I believe. Okay, oh, this is pretty. I already like the inside of this bowl. Okay, so first thing I see, you see the Shire peeking out, the Hobbit door. Okay. Yeah, this is beautiful. Very, very happy with this. That is so pretty. Yep, so it's pretty much all the same all around. You can tell that's where the wrap is, but it's really not that noticeable. It's really nice. Courage is found in unlikely places, and it just says it twice along the bottom. So very pretty, very happy with that. Great start to the box. Okay, next item is the monthly pin. Uh, a lot of people didn't like that the design is the same every month, but I like it. I like the idea of like the literary luggage and it's technically the same pin, just with a different design every time. So this is number five, uh, limited edition enamel pin. Oh, I ripped the paper a little bit. pretty um yeah thrown, I was about to say I think this is thrown of glass so this is thrown of glass Terracin very pretty just the back it says I like how they made the cards collectible too if you like to collect like some people I know don't take the pins off of these cards I do I have pin banners that I put my pins on um but I like that these are collectible so series one number five of twelve. Oh, it says series one so is there going to be a series two? That's interesting. That would be interesting. Okay. Uh, it looks like we have a darker shade of magic item. As travers to travel, transport yourself to London with beautiful something. I'm just going to read it out instead of opening it. Oh, okay. Wooden wall banner. Okay, I don't know about this. Let's see if I can. It smells nice. Oh gosh, I'm gonna make a mess of this, aren't I? Okay. Okay, this is neat. Okay, I thought it was just gonna be plain, and you were like supposed to design it like yourself, so I would not have been happy with that. But it says, as Travers. Oh, this is going to take some finagling. Okay, this <laughs> just know it says as Travers along it. That's, that's all it is. I'm not going to be able to get it to sit straight. Um, it's going to have to sit out for a while. It's nice. Ooh, okay, kind of, I got some of it. <laughs> it's really long. This is really good um, for libraries and in general. It is... It is not my favorite item. I don't, it's not really like the aesthetic I have in my house and it's, they're kind of more of a pain than anything. So I'm not the biggest fan of that item. Okay, 
Uh, next is pens. Greek Myths pen set. This is what it looks like. And then this is by Blissfully Bookish. He is half of my soul, as the poets say. Exclusive pen set inspired by the Song of Achilles. Another book that I did not read. It's one of my, uh, oh gosh. <laughs> I read Cersei. I read Cersei and I hated it. I didn't like her writing. So it's a personal preference. I know people love that book. So I had had Song of Achilles on my like to read list because I mean, everybody's read that book. Everyone loves that book. But after reading Cersei, I don't think I can read Song of Achilles, but we'll see. I mean, they might wear me down because a lot of books are putting Song of Achilles in as items. Um, luckily, pens are just pens. I actually really like getting pens because I have a reading journal that I keep. So I go through pens actually a lot. So let's see. Oh, this is a nice tip too. So let's see if I can get a better, see if you guys can actually see it. I am made of memories. Is what this, it's really shiny, so it's really hard to see. But they're actually really pretty. Ooh, that was an awful sound. Let me write with it. Ooh. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's it's a cheap pen. Uh, the other one, the other one is a nice blue. And this one, I feel like I could eat the world raw. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, so it has like a leer on it. It has some Greek writing on it, so. I mean, these are really nice. I'm gonna use them. I go through pens, so it's fine. I, I bet a lot of people are gonna have a problem with that. Uh, I feel like people hate getting pens and like stationary stuff and I in, in boxes because I feel like it's cheap, but maybe I'm just a cheap person. <laughs> okay, next, next item. Hmm. So this is what it came out looking like. This looks like the Raven Boys. I was gonna say um, the Cruel Prince because it's got some like Cruel Prince looking stuff, but mixtape, so I'm definitely not that. I have not read the Raven Boys, so I'm not gonna be able to tell you until I look at the spoilers if this is. Oh, so it opens up. It opens up like, it's a chess board. The head is too wise, the heart is all fire. It, this is awesome. This is so cool. You can take this with you. Oh, there it is. Okay, that, I know it's a Raven Boys. <laughs> I was gonna say, I know that is the symbol for it. So, Raven Boys. Uh, and there is stuff in this little pouch. I'm guessing it's, ch yep, checkers. That is so cool. Okay, this is one of my favorite items like I've gotten this year. This is so cool. I'm gonna have to remember how to play checkers. I used to play checkers all the time with my dad. Uh, I prefer Othello. I think you can actually play Othello in here too. Uh, but this is, this is cool. This is really cool. Let me show you the item one more time. This beautiful art. It's, I mean, it's beautiful. And that, that's just so neat. Okay, I'm I'm cheesing out over this item, but it is a really cool item. This is very different than anything that I've gotten in a book box. This is the kind of stuff that I want to see in book boxes. Like, this is very, like, creative. Really, really like it. So, that alone is a win. Like, this box is already 100% love it just because of that. And obviously the bowl. Looks like there is a bookmark next. June CL Tan, so this is probably gonna be Jade Fire Gold. It's a very beautiful bookmark. Very, very pretty. You may not be able to change the past, but with each action, you can change the future. So I believe Jade Fire Gold. Again, we'll have to check uh, when we get to the spoilers. Okay, and I believe as long as there's nothing under the book that we were down to the book. 
and here it is ballad and dagger by daniel jose older okay let me unwrap this book is unwrapped on the back is the oh this is cool on the back uh, is the author note and very pretty art this is really cool is this book about pirates i don't know anything about this book but there's definitely pirates pirate meeting house okay i'm really excited i love books about pirates okay uh put that aside uh last thing in the box is just like the whoop, the alcrate like thingy where it's gonna show that's one thing i love is normally in these they show yep what the original looked like versus what the alcrate one looks like so one second let me put this box down okay so alcrate edition i'm going to show you the cover very pretty very nice and then let's see what the original looked like so this is the original versus the alcrate i do like the alcrate one better just because like cool tones are my vibe I think the original is definitely more, it stands out more, but I like the cool tunes of this one better. So I'm happy with the changes. Okay. So other things with the book. Ooh, okay. That's cool. So inside the cover is uh, the same artwork. So very nice. Uh, I bet the back's the same too. Normally it's the front is that way the back is also that way yeah so it's the exact it's the exact same thing in the back so cool uh this book is heavy i wasn't expecting it to be so hefty it is signed okay taking the dust jacket off Ooh. okay this is nice so this is the inside i'm definitely not going to try saying this so you guys can read it yourself i will completely butcher that I was never good at other languages in school. It was a great source of like sadness because one of my best friends, she uh, got really into learning Spanish and so I took Spanish with her and I was absolutely awful with it. I don't, my brain just could not deal with it. And she was, she learned it very quickly and she's actually like, she used to travel back and forth to Spain. It was really cool. Uh, anyway, I'll read the English side of it. Uh, listen to the world, to your own heart, your spirit, your song. So this is going to be very music oriented. And the back, this is so pretty. I love this. I'm so impressed. Uh, inside the dust jacket, it's also very pretty. Let's see. So this is it far away, the full thing. I like the colors on it. It reminds me of the colors of actually the original cover. Much more bright, but there are the cool undertones there. Very pretty. Ooh, I don't know how much of that you can see. So that says, with one thing the world begins, with one thing the world ends. And then it says it the same thing in Spanish. Let's read the inside dust jacket. Almost 16 years ago, Mateo Matisse island homeland disappeared into the sea. Weary and hopeless, the survivors of San Madrigal escaped to New York, while the rest of his tight-knit Brooklyn diaspora community dreams of someday finding a way back home. Mateo, now a high school junior and piano prodigy living with his two aunts, one who's alive, the other not so much, is focused on one thing, getting the attention of a locally grown music legend, Gerval. Mateo finally gets his chance on the night of the Grand Feet, an annual party celebrating the blended culture of pirates, Santeros, and Sephardim that created San Madrigal all those centuries ago. But the evil that sank their island has finally caught up with them, and on the night of the celebration, Mateo's life has forever changed when he witnesses a brutal murder committed by a person he thought he knew. Suddenly, Mateo is thrust into an ancient battle that spans years and seas. As deadly secrets unravel, Mateo awakens a power within himself, a power that not only links him to the killer, but also could hold the key to unlocking the dark mystery behind their lost homeland. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, it's Hyperion. Hyperion, I'm... And it's Rick Rior. Is he... Is this... 
Is this middle green? It's definitely by Rick Riordan's like. Yeah, that's that's his. I didn't realize that. He has like a blurb in here in here. Um so Rick Riordan's company published this with Hyperion. Is it Disney? I'm gonna have to look this up later, but I think Hyperion is like Disney's one of Disney's imprints with Rick Riordan. And this looks middle grade and it like kind of reads like middle grade. And normally Rick Riordan puts his name on middle grade stuff, so I'm gonna have to look this up. Um, I think it sounds interesting because it reads like middle grade. I'm a little skeptical. I tend not to like middle grade books. Like I'm not even a big fan of the Percy Jackson series, which I know is like blasphemy, but I didn't grow up with them. I didn't read them when I was younger. I read them as an adult. So they just didn't really like hit with me as they probably would have when I was younger. Um, so I'm just, we'll see, we'll see how this goes. I think the, I think it sounds really interesting. Well, they're 16, so it is a young adult. Interesting. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Um, I thought it would be more pirate based, so that's a little disappointing that it doesn't seem like it's more pirate based. I was kind of hoping for like a old timey pirate kind of thing, not like a, I'm not a huge fan of books that take place in the present with fantasy aspects. I definitely am much more of like a other world fantasy type person, but that doesn't mean it's gonna be bad. It's, I'm just a little more nervous about it than I was when I saw like the map, but it sounds interesting and we will definitely give it a shot. So anyway, that was the book. Uh, I'm interested to see how this goes. I'm a little skeptical because it doesn't seem like something I normally read. And I am curious if it's more going to read like middle grade, but that doesn't mean it's going to be bad. I could end up loving this. Um, let's talk about spoilers. Really don't need to go over it. Everything had, was pretty much labeled what it was, but let's quickly go through it. Uh, literary luggage enamel pin from Hate Atlas Creative, Throne of Glass. Um, Janine LaCour made the Middle Earth limited edition ceramic bowl. The second installment brings us the Hobbit Heartland of the Shire. Tess Medovich, Paperback Bones, designed the travel chess set from the board to the pieces themselves. So, oh, I didn't think about that. I think the pieces, I think the pieces also had the chess people on the front. So I think you can play checkers and chess. Let me make sure, because this specifically says chess, not checkers. Yeah, okay. So even though they're not chess pieces, they have uh, the chess like monikers on them. So you can play this uh, as chess or checkers. So that's even cooler. <laughs> Next, Michelle Gray's design on our Darker Shade of Magic inspired wooden wall banner. It features the streets of Red London and the Antari words for to travel. Uh, next is the bookmark by Stella Bookish Art. I really like her art. No kidding, I liked her, the thing. Jade, Fire, Gold. So that was really the only one that I think wasn't listed what it was. And the pen set inspired by the Song of Achilles by Blissfully Bookish. Caps feature the Greek epithets for Achilles and Pet Pet Petroclus. Go ahead and correct me on that one. <laughs> That one felt bad saying. <laughs> From the Dark Mysteries adventure, an incredible dose of humor, Ballad and Dagger delivers a powerful story that centers around a uniquely musical diaspora community. We're excited for our subscri subscribers to be transported to a world where magic, myth, and gods reign over the streets of Brooklyn. See, that sounds better than the inside flap did. That sounds more exciting. Kind of sounds a little bit like lore. Our signed edition features an exclusive cover as well as reversible dust jacket art. Beneath the jacket, you'll find two exclusive foil designs. So those are exclusive to this book. That's cool. Uh, also an author, author, author letter. So now I'm more excited based on their mini recap compared to what was, I feel like they threw too much into the inside dust jacket. Like they, they, they were like, there's everything in this book. Here you go. 
Um, the simplified version sounds much better. <laughs> that is it for the box. Uh, my favorite item is obviously the chess set. <laughs> I thought going into this it would probably be the bowl, but that chess set is awesome. I'm really excited about that. I'm probably going to use that maybe tonight. I'm really excited. I got to remember how to play chess. I'm not very good at it. I used to play chess with my dad as well. We played all the all the board games and he used to destroy me. My dad did not believe in letting kids win things. <laughs> my least favorite item is, I would say, obviously the wooden wall hangers just because I don't, I don't have any use for them. So they'll probably get sold or I might pass them off to a friend who likes the book. We'll see. I liked this box. I thought it was really good. I feel like I had a lot of stuff packed into the box. Love the chess set. I like the pens. They're a little cheap, but that's fine. Uh, they work. That's all that matters. <laughs> so I would definitely say this was a good Alcrate box. And I would just like to shout out to Alcrate for being on time as usual. I feel like all my other book boxes are late because of what's going on with a lot of factories shut down and still a bunch of COVID repercussions going on. And Alcrate is just out there shipping stuff like no tomorrow. So I got my book box super early this, this month. So that was really cool. So yeah, that is the Alcrate March. I swear, did I say March earlier? I hope I didn't say March. This is the Alcrate May 2022 box. Uh, the Chosen Ones. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Let me know what you guys thought. Subscribe, like, whatever. Let me know what items you like the best, which ones you didn't like, uh, and what we, you would like to see from Alcrit in the future. Oh, that was a tough outro. Wow. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video.